story, Senegal swore in Basiru Domainfai as its new president today, completing the previously little-known opposition figure's dramatic ascent from prison to the palace in a matter of weeks. Maria Madialo, VOA's Nairobi Bureau Chief, is in Dakar monitoring the situation. Welcome to African News Tonight, Maria Ma. Well, thank you so much for having me, Yahayas. It's a very exciting time in Senegal at the moment. Sofai was released from prison less than two weeks ago before the March 24 election. Today, he has been sworn in as the youngest president of Senegal. Talk to us about this meteoric ascension. Uh, It's absolutely amazing. Uh, As uh, a lot of people have said, you just never know what can happen. I don't know uh, if he dreamed that uh, maybe about two weeks ago that he would be the youngest and the fifth uh, president of Senegal uh, because he was in prison. They had a very short time uh, to campaign when him and Usman Sonko was released because of an amnesty law that was passed. Uh, you know, at basically the last minute. Uh, but it happened. The elections uh, took place, and he was sworn in today um, at the International Conference Center, uh, Abdou Diouf, which is actually uh, named after the country's second president. It's located in Jamnyajo, uh, which is about an hour uh, from the Dakar city center. Uh, he took the oath of office. Um, I can just uh, just paraphrase what he said, saying that Uh, that before God and the Senegalese nation, uh, he will uh, fulfill the office of President of the Republic of Senegal faithfully, that he will thoroughly observe and ensure the observance of the provisions of the constitutions and the laws. So, Mariama, presidents from across West Africa and representatives from the U.S. and Europe, we are told, were in attendance today at the ceremony. Uh, Who was there? Well, a lot of people, uh, as you said, uh, at least on the Africa side, um, you know, it looks like uh, a lot of the neighbors, many of them came. If they couldn't send uh, heads of state, uh, they sent in a prime minister or uh, basically uh, presidents of the National Assembly. So presidents, we could uh, observe that uh, Sierra Leone uh, was here, the two Guineas, Guinea-Bissau and Guinea-Conakry, they were here, the Nigerian president, uh, Mr. Tinubu, uh, was also here, Ghana. Um, so there were uh, definitely a lot of lot of people, and even you know representatives of the African Union. You know, uh, Musa Fati, uh, the uh, African Union uh, Commission uh, representative who was here. So uh, definitely, it was absolutely well attended uh, by so many. I mean, when you think about even neighboring countries like Mali, I think the president couldn't be here, but uh, the foreign minister was here. And I think either the National Assembly or some other high-level official uh, attended. So uh, very well attended uh, by many uh, in, uh, in Africa and uh, around the world. And uh, opposition figure uh, Osman Sonko named Fai to run in his place after being barred from the election for a prior conviction. So I'm just curious, Mariama, is Sonko expected to have a prominent role in the new Fai administration? I think that is the million-dollar question, but that is also in the mind of everybody. Uh, That is an excellent question because, uh, as you said, I mean, the two two of them have been like two peas in the pod. I mean, they are always together. If they're not together, they, I mean, when they were campaigning with that short time, uh, they had decided to campaign on each side so they can reach as many people as possible. But, yes, I mean, a lot of people are saying that Jamai Fai uh, has been elected uh, because of Sonko, because he, it's Sonko who picked him because he couldn't run in these elections. Um, today he was in attendance, and I have to tell you, every time his, uh, his image came on the screen, on some of the big uh, screens, I mean, people were just going absolutely crazy. They were uh, applauding every time they showed him. So, yeah, I'm sure. I, I don't know uh, what the cabinet is going to be like, the composition of this new cabinet, uh, but uh, it, it should be expected that, uh, you know, that Sonko, who is uh, basically that uh, the person who was, uh, supposed to be the key challenge, a key challenger to the outgoing president Macky Sall is the reason uh, why uh, Mr. Uh, Jamal Fay, Basir Jamal Fay, President Basir Jamal Fay, uh, has been elected and is going to lead this country the next five years. Maria Madialovio is Nairobi bureau chief. Thank you for your input.
Kenya will not reopen its border posts with Somalia anytime soon because of the security implications of doing so at a time when the African Union peacekeeping mission in the neighboring country is winding down. Interior Principal Secretary Raymond Omoro told National Africa in an interview that the move was informed by the need to secure the country at all entry and exit points. Dr. Omolo's revelation comes nine months after his boss, Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindike, and his Somalia counterpart, Mohammed Ahmed Sheikh Ali, announced their intention to reopen the borders following high level consultations in Nairobi, which would have ended a 12 year barricade that began in 2011. With Kenya sharing some 800 kilometers of border with Somalia, a distance almost equivalent to the journey from Mombasa to Busia, Omoro admitted that the route had proved very difficult to secure. But with Somalia being the newest member of the, African U of the East African community, Dr. Omolo said the troubled country was entitled to benefit from the seamless trade and movement enjoyed by other member states of the community. Somalia is unique because it has faced a lot of challenges, especially terrorism. But when you look at the long border, it makes it very daunting. We had plans and we still have plans to open several border points with Somalia. We thought not now, but we will do so even as we consider the challenge of insecurity that this move brings, said Dr. Omoro. He also explained that Kenya expects more security challenges with the planned withdrawal of the African Union transitional mission in Somalia at Miss Troops. In Somalia. In addition, the Chia tailing of the stretch shared by the two countries is very rough and will require very heavy investment to seal the rope holes in controlling movement in and out of Kenya. This area is largely arid, so yes, some may say 